video will provide an overview of the individual learning methodologies. During this video, please reflect on the following analysis questions. What are the individual learning methodologies used in adult education? When might individual learning best be used? What are the advantages and disadvantages of individual learning? And what are good practices associated with individual learning? Individual learning methods take into account the reality that some students learn better on their own, and also that some students will require more practice with content than others, and may need to progress at their own pace. Individual learning methodologies place the responsibility for learning on students, aided by the teacher, and defined by the limits and objectives of the curriculum. Examples of individual learning strategies include homework, independent reading and independent study, learning contracts, portfolios, and journals. The creation of individual learning material takes considerable time and effort to ensure that students can easily navigate through the supplied materials and make steady progress. Readings, recordings, links, videos, and other methods of delivering the initial content can be used, followed by a variety of ways of practicing content with formative feedback, such as workbook exercises, simulations, applications, and case studies. The individual learning approach has the following advantages. It allows students to progress at their own pace and review content as often as they need to for comprehension. It allows students to practice their learning and receive individual feedback on that practice. It can be delivered to any number of students at once, making it cost-effective once developed. It is equitable in that all students receive the exact same instruction, and it offers flexibility to students in terms of when and where they do their learning. Individual learning is best used in situations in which the content is relatively introductory, neither overly complex nor abstract, so that students can comprehend it on their own. There are high quality content materials available, or there's time to create them. The learning of the content is easy to measure, allowing students to check their mastery through the provision of answer keys that do not require teacher judgment. The content can be delivered in manageable chunks or modules. There's no distinct advantage to interacting with others in the learning of this content. Students seeking to learn this content are distant or unable to attend more traditional delivery options. When students are highly motivated and are able to self-manage their studies, students need to be able to access the material at different points in time or are starting at different levels of expertise, or when the significant investment in the design and development of the learning materials will be amortized over many students and a long period of time. Individual learning certainly has a place in adult education, but the place is relatively limited. In general, adults succeed best when they learn in a company of others, especially if one subscribes to the theory of constructivism. Individual instruction limits the interactivity possible between the students and the teacher, and the students and other students, so this may limit the richness and depth of their understanding of the content presented. In addition, unless there is some kind of help mechanism built into the delivery structure, individual students can confront obstacles to learning, which they are unable to overcome, which can lead to high attrition. There is no doubt that there are times when individual learning approaches will work well. When they are chosen, you can ensure that the potential for student learning is maximized by following these suggestions. Choose this approach only when the target student is mature, self-motivated, self-disciplined, and therefore likely to succeed. Choose this approach when the content is suitable for independent learning and there is sufficient time and enough resources to create the high quality product. Ensure that learning materials are clear, easily navigated, and broken into sections that are readily assimilated. Make use of contemporary multimedia and the learning materials in order to provide variety and appeal to varied learning styles. Alternate content delivery with application or practice activities that are immediately self-graded to support cumulative mastery of content. Be sure that students are adequately prepared for the requirements of individual learning and that sufficient checkpoints are built in. And include support systems so that students can access help with technical or conceptual problems. Please reflect on the following synthesis questions. Why would educational institutions like the individual learning approach? And what would be in it for them? Which philosophy of adult learning is most consistent with the individual learning approach? Would individual learning be more likely to be used in formal, informal, or non-formal adult education? What adult education providers would be most likely to use individual learning? 
And how might the individual learning methods be combined with other approaches? In what ways would this combination address some of the disadvantages or limitations of independent study?